have 500 grams of mushrooms that I'm gonna slice up roughly and three small tomatoes that I'm gonna be using um, to fry with the vegetables and then I also have a packet of our cherry tomatoes that we'll be adding in just because I think it looks better when we add cherry tomatoes um, yeah and then for additional this is optional you don't have to add this I'm also gonna be adding three medium-sized zucchinis and one packet of our black olives these are local pick local locally produced so I decided to use these I wanted to get the pitted ones but the pitted ones Honestly, the truth is there was a sale at Pick and Pay and it was 3 for 45 so I got three. Um, and I'll have to remove the pit out of these, but it's fine. I have the time. And for our spices, we have one teaspoon of mixed herbs, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and some salt to taste. And we'll also be adding in juice of one and a half lemons as well. And that's all we'll be adding for our seasonings. In here, as you can see, our onions have brown. Um, I just sauteed them in some vegetable broth for a while. And then um, I'm going to be adding in some oil now since I'm going to be adding in a teaspoon of garlic. I've already added in half a teaspoon, so I'll be adding the other half. This is my garlic, so. Some oil. Make that fry. And so that will be adding in our mushrooms as well. Those mushrooms will be chopped up, and you'll see them soon. In the meantime, we're gonna check on our pasta. Um, yeah. And we don't want it to be overcooked, we just want it to be al dente. So I think it's ready. Now we've added in our mushrooms. These look like a lot, I know, but they're gonna cook down quite significantly. We're just gonna stir that in and then we'll be adding in our spices. Herbs and half a teaspoon of thyme. You can use any herbs and yeah, just any herbs that you have on hand. And while you wait, you can just enjoy yourself a lovely, lovely glass of red wine. And some strawberries because we're grown. Okay, I'm joking, it's not red wine, it's cranberry juice, but same thing. Yes, so just enjoy. Ching ching. Our potatoes we have apparently they are washed, but I don't I don't believe them. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash them myself. And we have one packet of baby potatoes I'll be roasting up. With. And these are the spices we'll be using to spice our potatoes. So, some Cajun spice, some cumin and some paprika, and then obviously some salt to taste and some garlic as well. And that's all we'll be doing to our potatoes. Now that we've rinsed our potatoes, I just decided to cut some that were a little bit too big for my, my brand. <laughs> and I'm going to add them into this pan that has a little bit of oil. And we'll be adding in these spices right here. Some Cajun spice, cumin, paprika, some garlic, salt, and the seasoning spice because I really like what it tastes like. And then we'll drizzle on a little bit of this olive oil, oil blend. Um, and yeah, I'll put them in for about 20 to... 35 minutes. Okay. Oops. Now that I'm done with the potatoes. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt on top because remember the seasoning has already has salt on top so we don't want to add too much this right here already has some salt it's seasoning and we're gonna add a little bit of this and then we're gonna put it in the oven for some time <laughs> and I'll check on them I want them nice and crispy
really, really crispy. You can hear that sound. That's what I like. We're just gonna dish them on the side. I'm gonna use my hands. I took a spoon because I thought I wasn't strong enough, but I'm strong. So we're just putting them on the side because this our meal, our Mediterranean style um, pasta is served with roasted potatoes on the side. You could also um, serve roasted veggies if you like or a huge Caesar salad if you like or you know, eat it by itself if you like. It's your life, man. Thank you.